Okay, Gitan. A lot of people know about the Gaia Wellness Center already, but they don't really know what it's all about. What made you want to open this space? Well, one of the reasons that I think it's very important to have a space like this is because we have such a fast-paced life nowadays that we have actually forgotten most of the, let's say, values that we have as human beings because we're so distracted by the materialistic reality. So I thought it'd be nice to have a space where you can come and let's say remember those qualities that we had and share them with others. And that's how the guy on the center came together. Of course, there was a lot of, I had the, uh, the vision, but because of the value the center will hold for everybody in their personal lives, a lot of volunteers came and a lot of people helped to create the project and make it into a physical reality. What do you think about the fact, actually, that so many volunteers came, so many people just wanted to lend a hand and be part of this without thinking of salary, without thinking of any personal outcome for their own personal selves? I loved it. Why? Because the people that actually come to volunteer are the ones that actually know and understand the project because they see the bigger picture. And when you see the bigger picture and you can see that it's going to be a great benefit for everyone involved, it makes you, it, it gives you a different self-worth and a self-value for yourself too because you're a part of it. So I felt like most of the volunteers that came in, they all said, oh, we wish we could have done something like this, but we never had the chance. But because they're volunteering and they're co-creating with the center, they have the chance to do that too. So it helps them out too, in a way. And what is it actually that you are trying to push forward through the center? Well, it's not very hard to put in words. But I can say that I would like the people to come together. And one of the things I have realized that most of the therapists and the people that work with, with others and helping out people out, they all have their own space, their own time, their own clients, but they don't have any support for themselves. And they always, with all these challenges we've got nowadays, psychologically, emotionally, physically, people always think they have to fight it out on their own or deal with it on their own, but it doesn't have to be that way. And I, I would like the people to come together and forget their personal, small, image of what, who they are and what they did and what bothers them and what their problems is. But the bigger picture that if we do come together, someone can always help you out by giving you an advice that you never thought of. Because we all have gifts at the end of the day, but they're all unique. So I could be very gifted in seeing one part of something, but I might miss another aspect of it. But when you're in a group of people and you're sharing, people will come up with ideas and stuff and then you'll think, wow, this is what I should have done. And it's always good to know that you have a support and love from friends or from just people that are there for you to support you so that you can serve yourself and better serve humanity at the end. Because if you're here to help people send humanity out and you can't deal with your own stuff, then how are you going to do it? So. I hope that we can create a space here where people can come together and forget the aspect of my life, myself, my thing, and see the bigger picture and see if we can come out with bigger projects that we can help each other out even more. And you mentioned something about a question that you'd like to ask the public. Well, the thing is, okay, let's say right now, okay? in this present moment, in this time, what would anyone who's interested in helping or serving humanity, 
would come up with an idea or a project? What would be important that we can do right now, all of us together, that we can create something that would that can be a, serve the higher good of everybody, not only a physical project, but something that could be a wow project and very creative. So if anyone out there has any ideas or something that we can do as a group, we're very happy to receive any of that. All right, so we'll send that out to the public and we'll hope for anyone in Cyprus to come and see this beautiful space and whoever is not in Cyprus to continue to log on to our website and to hear more about all the beautiful ideas and projects that you have and even those that come in from the bigger public. Yes. Okay.